Hey everyone, I know it's been a couple of days since I've been back on YouTube, but I was just like getting myself together and everything, but I'm back and I'm here to tell you about like, the price that I use for my hair, my natural look. And as you can see, yes, this is my hair, my curly natural look, the lovely hair. I'm sorry, I had to be goofy with it for a minute, but yeah, this is my hair, you know, a little bit. And I'm so glad that I'm done with the whole relaxer and everything. I'm back to its natural side. So let's get started. Okay, so first off, after I wash my hair and everything, um, I use this product, Cantu. I use Cantu products, and the main one that I use is the leave-in conditioner. The Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioner. And it's a really great product, especially, like, don't want your damaged hair to just dry out after just rinsing the conditioner off. So leave a conditioner like this, a repair cream. This is so good to use and we're almost running out of it, so we are gonna have to go to the store and get some more. But good prices are Walmart or Target four dollars and also Rite Aid and your local um beauty supply store. And especially at Rite Aid, if you have like your Rite Aid card, you'll be able to get it for a really good price. So, yes. Second, I use a really good moisturizing product or nutrition product for my hair. It's called um, Salon Pro Hair Food. And this one is olive oil. And I love using it, especially when you have really damaged, um, itchy scalp is really good to use. I suggest you use it. Legit. And this doesn't just come in just olive oil. They have different kinds like argan oil, carrot, all of that. All the really good stuff. Avocado. Definitely, definitely avocado. And I know, like, after this, when I run out of this, I'm going to go get it. The argan oil and um, the avocado hair food. So, get this, you guys. And for me, since I have a Julie Best Buy in my house, it only costs like a dollar. And plus, I have a membership card since I'm a licensed cosmetologist. So, I'm able to get this for a really good price. Now, we just I just started using the products that I got from my beauty supply by my house, and it's the product is a Shea Moisturizer, and I loved it. The first two products that I got were the Jamaican Black Castor Oil Strength Grow and Restore product, and I have the the Silent Lotion, and I have the Edge Treatment. I love using these, especially this one because it really helps my edges for itself. Kind of like because it's short and kind of dries up, so I use it to reduce it back itself. It restores it back to its natural self. So. And I also use a styling lotion, like when I want to like just style up my hair a little bit. I just want to let it in and put some in my hair and just hold it hair just to mess with it or I even do better use both of them both the products and put my hair up and put my hair in like a cute bun or something just to brush it up but still have that night. that um moisturizer in my hair. I also start using the coconut and the viscous conditioning is um cold wash conditioning cleanser. And I use this as my conditioner and then use this as a leave-in conditioner. But I use this um, after I wash my hair because it really helps with my hair. And I would say anything that has natural products in it, I would say it's really good for anyone's hair. And what it has in here is coconut oil, silk protein, and neem oil. And it has some um, really good, like, it has sea butter, olea, olea, olive, fruit, oil, 
has all natural oils in there. And I would say if you have like a really hard time holding your like having to hold your hair, holding like your hairstyle, I have um, the Videl Sassoon Extreme Thermal. I have like the sample that my grandma gave me. And I would say I still have a lot in here and I don't know if I'm using it much. I just like either spray on my hair or I'll spray on a brush. I'm trying to see if there's a brush. I had a brush around there. Well, I'll just spray on my brush and just brush my hair with the brush with the product on it and it just helps my hair to like stay where it needs to stay. So I love using it. Using all of it. So I love it. And what I feel like and not saying that it's for everybody. I think what's best for you is to find out what your hair texture is because mine's like curly coarse type hair and I need a good amount of moisturizer especially when I was little I had like really tender hair but now that I'm older I'm like so I'm tender because I'm starting to take real good care of my hair so I would suggest to like Go to your stylist, go to your stylist and do a hair consultation to see what type of hair you have. Like, do you have coarse, or do you have medium, or fine hair, and see if it's like this naturally straight or whatever, and find the right product, natural product for you. And there's even the way, there's even ways for you to create your own hair product. Like, just go on Google and or natural ingredients that are good for hair and you should pop up and then you think that products you question like products that are out there are good prices and also good products and I'll just look on Google and see what they have that's all the answers for like Google just go straight to Google <laughs> but yeah that's helpful and I'm about to make another video of my skin on a certain subject and thank you all for your time and thank you for allowing me to show you the products that I love using I would really suggest you guys really go out there and find natural products that are good for your hair don't use products that are too too hard on your hair that make it break out and start having hair fall out of your head. You don't want that to happen. Oh, I almost forgot. I forgot to show y'all I did get the new product that we, I, we all saw on TV, the new Dove Advanced Hair Series. I have the um, Quench Absolute for Curly Horse Hair. I have the Cream Serum and I have the Leave-In Detangler. And I use this especially for when I'm just starting to like get ready to put my hair in parts and stuff. So I really use this to like spread my hair, and I'll do my hair and part it out, spray a little bit more on the ends, and then just come down and twist it all out so I could have my hair form. And I need to but I also use a serum. I use a serum a little mixture of the styling solution. I'm not gonna lie, I do I do that sometimes. I will either mix two products that are opposite of each other and get like the best curls that I love. So I'm like definitely do like a little mixture, like a little little science product and see like how my hair reacts to this. So that's what I would say experiment not so much, especially you have to read the ingredients and if they say do not combine certain products with this, then don't do it. Um, but it's still like, like, yeah, like I said, do a consultation with your, with your hair, go to the styles, do a consultation, find out what type of hair you have. And once you find out, find the right products that are good for it. Don't do something that they say it's good for you, but then it ends up having another problem. Like, you end up having an issue with it. Like, 
see like how you have those medicine commercials like they'll cheer one thing but then they'll bring out another issue. I would suggest like definitely look up some good brands to you know, like to have the right products for yourself right ahead. And especially for your face, if you want to do your own face products. I know I did mine and I use a mix, I believe, cinnamon and honey and banana and make my face mask. Still using it, but my hair, my hair, I would say bleep this out, but I don't bleep out. But yeah, I did that, and my hair, my face is wearing out, but it's still got a little rashes there because I have sensitive skin. But I'm learning to like what to use for it, and then I also use vitamin E oil, skin oil. And I use that, and then I use some um, Johnson Johnson. Good stuff to moisturize because those are good stuff to use for me. It's basically to have your nice silky skin. So I'm going back to using that Johnson Johnson and use my vitamin E oil to um, moisturize my face. And then I'm also using it in my homemade face mask. Everybody should make your own face mask that is good for your face. That'll get rid of the issue you have on your face. And like I said, not only do on your hair, but do a consultation on hair looking crazy already. <laughs> Not only your hair, but do it on your face too. So I'm about to wrap my hair up, y'all. Let's wrap this up and then I'm gonna do another video about the like the situation I kind of and stuff in my heart. Thank you for your time and I'll talk to you later. Well,